All right, listen to this. It's going to be based on works for a lot of reasons. Uh, for one, you know, Jesus is going to rule with a rod of iron. So, uh, you know, there's going to be two groups during the Millennial Kingdom as the signs who have, you know, glorified bodies and then all those people that will be in the flesh, you know, that survived the trip and went on to uh, live during the Millennial Kingdom. Now, most of these people will be Jews, okay, because Jesus will save one third of the Jews uh, during the tribulation period or Shaikos travel, okay, according to Zechariah 13. And a lot of. Okay, so. Zechariah 13. I'm gonna save one third of the Jews. Alright, so let's take a look here and we see. I will bring the third part through the fire and I will refine them as silver and is refined and I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say the Lord is my God. Now this is talking about, yeah, I mean the context of uh, what's being talked about here is right now. It's. I mean, it would take you five minutes to read this. I don't want to read this, but um, you'll notice here it says, Smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered, and I will turn mine hand upon the little ones. All right, so Jesus was killed, and the sheep were scattered. And now we that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ who has ro rose from the dead are God's people it is my people All right. and I think these guys like this they don't never read the Bible I, I really don't believe they do and there's no way there's no way you can make a mistake like this let me see if I can find um, which in time past were not a people but are now the people of God clearly without any doubt this is talking about those of us that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ okay <laughs> it's a you gotta be willingly stupid to not be able to see it so my people here the the sheep are scattered. The Lord was killed. I mean, <laughs> wow. And there's, there's going to be a lot of chantiles as All well. Right, and, and hold on a second. What I wanted to talk about here, this guy is saying there's going to be unsaved people living among those of us that are in our glorified bodies. I think about that. Now, I, I want people to talk about that more. If that's what you believe, then talk about it. You're going to have people who are having sex, a lots and lots of sex. Are they going to be having sex with people that are in their glorified bodies? They're going to want to. You know how perverted people are. Of course, you're going to have people dying. You're going to be having people, uh, you know, having children. And you're going to have people sinning, living among those of us that are glorified. Is that what you're saying? In our glorified body? I mean, that's utterly stupid. Utterly stupid. Let's go to Luke 21. I mean, it makes no sense. If that were the case, hey, Jesus comes. Don't worry about it. I mean, will these unsaved people still be uh, given the opportunity to be saved? If so, then why? Why did Jesus come back? Why are we transformed into our glorified bodies, but they're not? You see what I'm saying? But let's go to Luke 21, and I want you to think about this now. This, I, I think people are just poo-pooing everything in the Bible. I really do. Uh, we go to uh, right here. Now this uh, parallels what we read in Matthew 24 and Mark 13 as well, where the, there will be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon earth distress of nations with perplexity. The seas and the war waves 
Roaring men's hearts, failing them for fear. Why? Why is this happening? Why are men having heart attacks? Why are why is there weeping and gnashing of teeth when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven? Well, because everybody's gonna know, regardless of your ridiculous theories now everybody's gonna know at that point it's the end of the world all right so I mean to me it's just <laughs> this is deranged really um Christ is not gonna be required because Jesus will be there okay so but the gospel is not gonna be required so this is making less and less sense. Uh, it's going to be based on works for a lot of reasons. Uh, for one, you know, Jesus is going to rule with a rod of iron. So, uh, you know, there's going to be two groups during the Millennial Kingdom as the saints who have, you know, glorified bodies. And then all those people that will be in the flesh, you know, that survived the trip and went on to uh, live during the Millennial Kingdom. Uh, so that's ridiculous. I mean, just ridiculous let's go one of the interesting bit of scriptures I've, I've, dude, I've been researching this about the millennial kingdom for the last few days and like I said there's so much scripture that I, you know I could easily do an hour or more you know but I'm um, telling you a lot, a lot about the scriptures but some of the interesting ones uh, will be that you know uh, the 12 apostles uh, will be judging the 12 tribes of Israel you know according to uh, Luke 22 verse 28 and 30 you know Jesus uh, will be the king of Israel and uh, the 12 apostles will be the will be judging the 12 tribes of Israel is then are used to living off the land you know they go hunting for animals you know think of the Indians in the Amazon you know like how they go hunting for birds and things like that you know uh, and uh, so Perhaps you're gonna see a lot of those Gentiles, you know, uh, moving along then and living through uh, into the Millennial Kingdom. But you're gonna be ruling over them, you know, according to uh, Revelation 5:10. You know, we're gonna be ruling as priests and kings, you know. And uh, one of the interesting bit of scriptures, I've, I've, dude, I've been researching this about the Millennial Kingdom for the last few days, and like I said, there's so much scripture that I, you know, I could easily do an hour or more. You know, but I'm um, telling you a lot, a lot about the scriptures. Uh, I have Jewish background myself because my father is Jewish, and everyone uh, in my father's family, they're all, they're all Jewish. You know, they have Jewish names and so on. Uh, so that's enough of that. Uh, so basically, this guy's saying he's going to be saved because he is Jewish. He's got Jewish background, Jewish in his blood, so he's going to be saved. And so he wants to say Zechariah 13, for example, is proof text that he's going to be saved. So not, long. not knowing the scripture at all. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. It's interesting because this guy here, he, he is echoing what a lot of people... with a rod of lions. What a lot of people are teaching. This idea that there's going to be unsaved people living amongst those of us that are in our glorified flesh. I, I want people to talk about it. If that's what you believe, let's talk about it. Um, so, uh, you know, there's going to be two groups during the Millennial Kingdom as the saints who have, you know, glorified bodies and then all those people that will be in the flesh, you know, that survived the trip and went on to uh, live during the Millennial Kingdom.